Hey, hey, Scorpio, intuitive soul coach here with your March 2022 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome, welcome if you're new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Scorpio and take a look at all things related to your career, your finances, money, opportunities that may be showing up for you and challenges that may be showing up and how we can help you navigate through them. So just a friendly reminder, Scorpio, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, we're going to dive into your reading here with past, present, and future energy. Uh, in the recent past, we do have the seal. It's like the stamp of approval. There may have been a new business contract. You may have filled out uh, some sort of a document or an application. There may have been a gift of money that came in for you, maybe through taxes or through um, some sort of rebate or form. I feel like you could have a, a writing career, maybe clerical or office work. Now this could be you filing paperwork and dealing with papers as well, or you may be in a job where you want it to last long term, especially if you just sealed the deal in a new position here. Or maybe you've planted the seed to success here where you're finally putting the stamp of approval on a situation. For some of you, this could be education as well or some sort of course or learning opportunity. I feel like you maybe uh, they're showing me you sending something out in the mail. Maybe it's through email or maybe regular mail where you may now be waiting for some sort of a return here. So let's take a look and see what the present energy holds for you. We have the tree. This is a beautiful card to have here, Scorpio. It talks about financial growth coming to fruition. It does talk about abundance. So it makes sense here. If there's something that has been sealed, if you've sealed the deal in an area of your finances or career, this doesn't even have to be just a job opportunity. This could be uh, real estate as well. Some of you may have sold some sort of real estate or may have sealed the deal with a contract regarding a move or a home uh, that has to do with finances per se, but not necessarily your career. But in the future, we do see stability. Now you may be in a family business or you may be able to focus more on your family because you are building something up from maybe inside the home, maybe you have a home-based business or you're able to work from the home. But this does talk about, it could be an outdoor job or building and bringing more stability into your energy. So the month of March, there is a lot of financial growth and something you're gonna see start to bring in more money for you. Now this could be a promotion, it could be a raise, or I feel for a lot of you, this is an entrepreneur or small business idea that you are putting out into the universe or you have put out into the universe a while ago and now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor here with the tree. So I love this showing up for you and you can see, you know, they're golden. And I feel like the time is now to be picked. Uh, it's, it's a golden time. There's golden opportunities here for abundance. Next in the position of your near future, we do have the hand. This talks about manifesting money. It talks about you reaching goals, financial assistance, or uh, taking help from other people at this time or getting messages of manifesting money. So you may have a career that is hands-on. They're showing me that some of you are builders or creators where you do use your hands, uh, or it can be help getting a job. Maybe a friend of yours says, I heard about this position, uh, if you wanna apply for it. They're also showing me that somebody may have an in through a friend or a family member that works at a certain place. So uh, for example, you want to work at a big company, but you don't know anybody and usually they hire from the inside. You may know somebody up at the top that could uh, put in a good word for you is kind of what I'm getting. For others of you entrepreneurs out there, this is a wonderful time for you to really bring in a lot of success, a lot of growth, and to see your money growing. Because again, this tree, uh, you know, the, the saying money doesn't grow on trees. Well, in this case, you're seeing that your hard work and effort actually does grow and you're seeing it come to fruition here. So let's dive into your reading Scorpio and take a look at what is going on in your energy what is the heart of the matter what is the heart of the matter here for Scorpio all right how would you like these spirit thank you 
Okay, so right away here, we have showing up the 10 of Raphael, 10 of cups, beautiful energy. This has to do with emotional fulfillment. It says love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships. They're also pointing out uh, the family business or some sort of energy that allows you to spend more time with your family. Now, again, this could be you building a home-based business or you recruiting family members even to help you out bringing in more money. The Ten of Cups is the card of good fortune. It's the card of good communication, emotional wealth, as well as material wealth. So whatever it is that you're doing or going towards, it's going to bring a news of some sort of emotional fulfillment as well as uh, material fulfillment as well. So this is a beautiful energy to be in here, uh, Scorpio. So let's take a look and clarify. For some of you, you may be spending more time with the family in the month of March, maybe even taking a vacation. Let's take a look and clarify the Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Ten of Cups energy. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. This is great. New opportunities coming your way. So there may have been situations in the past where you were rejected or you felt like you missed out on certain opportunities. Maybe you were applying for a lot of jobs and didn't hear back. But I do feel like you are appreciating what it is that you have. You're appreciating the help that is coming in for you and you're appreciating this new growth. Because again, something has finally come to fruition here. So when the Five of Cups shows up, I feel like you're having faith in a new beginning here in the future. Where in the past, you did feel a little bit down, a little bit uh, upset. There was disappointment or even a little bit of bitterness because of missed opportunities. But now you're finally able to see uh, things for what they are and appreciate because you have new abundance. And there's a new internal shift going on for you as well. Let's take a look here and see what challenges may be showing up for you, Scorpio, and how we can help you navigate through them. There it is, Five of Cups again here. Beautiful. So like I said, there is a, you're focused on your Ten of Cups. You're focused on emotional fulfillment. You're focused on uh, having the good things in life and enjoying it with those that you love, but you also want to be able to afford to do certain things with your family. So I feel like your eye is on the prize. However, the challenge for you is uh, to focus on the new opportunities that are coming in instead of focusing on what you've lost here. Now this card says everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Absolutely. There is silver lining. Uh, in departures here. So I feel like there are situations that uh, didn't serve you at that time and rejection is God's protection. So there were situations that maybe people flat out said no, or they told you that uh, you would have to jump through hoops or you weren't able to to manifest what it is that you've wanted here. But you can see with the tree in the hand that you're manifesting money and reaching the goals and the dreams. Finally, after a time of maybe constantly trying to seal the deal with different places or different uh, work environments or different clients, I finally see the hard work, effort, and energy paying off for you. So again, the challenge is search for the silver lining here and stay open to the new opportunities coming your way because that's what this is about. Not only uh, opportunities, but it's about appreciation, appreciation and appreciating what you have right in front of you. Because I feel like there is financial abundance or there could be some sort of assistance coming in for you, or maybe you're receiving a higher refund than you had thought, uh, Scorpio, or maybe you are getting a bonus that comes out of the blue. Let's take a look and see, clarify what this Five of Cups is as your challenge. Five of Cups. So you're finally having faith in the future, okay? Because Five of Cups can be the card of, uh, you know, feeling a little bit down, feeling like there was loss. Maybe some of you did lose a position in the past or felt like you lost out on money. And now the challenge is to wait for some news to come in for you. But I certainly see your hard work and effort paying off because there's the news. Page of Cups showing up, even though it's in the challenge position, I feel like it's coming your way, but the, the impatience may be overriding. So I would say here towards mid to end of March for you, you might start to see more money coming in or you may receive some sort of news uh, in the mail or you may get a check in the mail but keep putting in the hard work and keep uh, leaning towards 
mastering your craft, okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles says that you may not be fully experienced in a certain area. And if you need to continue growing or learning, sign up for a course, sign up for a workshop, or watch YouTube videos on how to uh, overcome or achieve some sort of success. So in any area of your career that you don't feel like you're in or you're experienced enough, learn from others. Teamwork makes the dream work here, and that will actually help you bring more success to the table. For example, let's say you've started a business and uh, it's going good, word of mouth, but you don't have a website and you have no idea where to even start. This is about you researching and you figuring out how to build a website so you can bring more abundance to your business, more money to your business. So that's kind of the energy I'm getting for you. You're appreciating what resources are available to you is what Spirit is saying. So let's take a look here, Scorpio, and see what is below you. What is the foundation? Ace of Wands, beautiful. Brand new beginnings. It says here, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Ace of Wands uh, is one of the best cards in tarot. It talks about chasing your dream, Scorpio, and going all in. It talks about a passionate new idea, a new beginning. Uh, it talks about creativity, feeling that sense of inspiration, and feeling like you actually have a purpose or a direction here. So I feel underneath it all, the root of the matter really is that you want to chase your dreams and you want to do something that brings a lot of emotions, passion, and inspiration to the table, especially for those of you that may be in a job that is uh, never ending or it's a dead end job or you're working a nine to five. There's something here with breaking out of a routine. Uh, and for some of you that are looking for employment as well, you're looking to kind of get out of the rut of scarcity because I'm getting that uh, there was some sort of a loss here, some sort of a shift or change within your career. But let's take a look and see what this Ace of Wands is all about. I feel like you are ready. Uh, you've possibly been ready, yeah, because you've been uh, trying to listen to your intuition and you've been maybe staying a little bit uh, behind the scenes, behind the curtain, so to speak here. The High Priestess energy showing up is needing to trust that the universe has something better waiting for you. The high priestess is about paying attention to your intuition, the signs, the synchronicities. There may have been moments that things weren't clear or you just didn't trust that things were gonna work out in your favor, but I feel like things are shifting. They're showing me tides are changing. Tides are changing. So that may be around the full moon in March uh, where things start to change here. Uh, but I'm getting that listen to your intuition and trust that all will be well here, Scorpio. Let's take a look and see what's going on in your recent past. We have change your life tower. Okay. So yeah, something certainly shifted in your life. <clears throat> There could have been a job loss. Uh, you could have walked away from a job. Uh, there could have been health issues. Maybe some of you had to take care of loved ones. Uh, whatever this is for you, this could have even been a belief or a thought regarding your career that just didn't line up with your morals any longer. But it says a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio. I feel like whatever this tower moment was did leave you feeling uh, like some sort of loss. It did leave you feeling disappointed, even a little bit bitter at times here, Scorpio. But you're definitely changing your life here for the better because I feel that this needed to kind of come crumbling down and it was out of your control or out of your hands. I feel that uh, there were decisions that were made that weren't necessarily fair, or you felt like they weren't fair, uh, but I do feel that it there was a lot of chaos around a situation here. Let's take a look. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Pentacles talks about uh, somebody could have been very lazy in their energy, or somebody was just focused on money, greedy energy, very materialistic. You may have gotten let go from a job because money was number one, or finances were number one. Uh, there could have been a situation where somebody, they're telling me somebody could have stole something out from underneath of you, didn't work hard for what it was that they got. Maybe you were trying to uh, try to become a, a manager or a level up and somebody kind of took it out from underneath you, but you were expecting uh, reliability, trustworthiness, and that's not what you got here at all, Scorpio. So let's take a look and see what is above you. What is the potential 
in your career, March 2022. I do see a lot of potential coming in for you, a lot more stability. And uh, I, I do feel like you're going to manifest more money in the month of March, especially for those of you that have been looking for more money. I mean, who is not looking for money? But I feel like for some of you, <coughs> you've been really trying to manifest this into your 3D world. There's that page of cups. Yes, there is that news coming in here. So this is a new emotional situation, something that you've been really feeling a lot of emotions towards. So again, this could be a job loss that's happened for you in the past, or you know you needed to walk away because something was stirring up a lot of triggers or a lot of emotions within you. But it talks about uh, invitations, social invitations, new job offers. Uh, doing things that you love because your focus is that 10 of cups. Your focus is possibly on family at this time or taking care of your personal life, having the money to do things that you want, but also having the money to make sure your bills are paid and to make sure that you can afford uh, the car payments or the home mortgage or the rent or whatever this is for you. There is news coming in here that I see, but it may be towards again, mid end of the month. Uh, for some of you as well, it could even be the very beginning of April, but let's take a look and clarify what this news is all about. What is this news all about here for Scorpio? Some of you, again, may get a bonus or you may get something in the mail or you've been waiting. Yeah, you're going to love it, whatever it is. <clears throat> this is the sun card. The sun is the first one here that follows. So uh, whatever is behind here and you're getting the knight of cups. Yep, so there is action being taken here. You're going to get yourself out of the cage or out of feeling stuck in some sort of energy here. Queen of Pentacles and now Knight of Pentacles in return. So you're going to finally step back into your power after a time of stalled energy or stagnancy. That Knight of Pentacles is what we just seen here showing up for you. And I am getting that this is going to bring a lot more happiness than you've seen for quite some time. And it may have to do with, uh, with whatever this, this lazy or materialistic energy from a, per I feel like it's a person. Uh, from the past that kind of uh, maybe it did you wrong. Maybe it was a queen of pentacles that maybe did you wrong because the queen of pentacles can be under a lot of financial stress. Maybe this is your energy as well, but you're finally freeing yourself up from the cage. You're moving forward and you're taking action on something with this news that comes in that's going to leave you feeling happy, happy, happy. The sun card is about abundance. It's about public recognition and fame. It can be about success. So you're going to feel really good with this news that has the potential to really break free from any uh, energy that you've been in. Let's take a look and see what is showing up for you in the near future. What is showing up? Nine of Gabrielle. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles energy. So this is, talks about, uh, or excuse me, nine of wands energy. It says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Yes. So for you, Scorpio, nine of wands is the card of the wounded warrior. It is the card of having that last final push, that determination. For some of you, if you've been applying for job after job after job, sometimes you just might want to give up and you might say, you know, I can't do this anymore. But this is saying push through, put one more uh, application out there because that may be the one that really gets things moving. Uh, if this is a career move regarding uh, maybe self-employment, and you've been really, really working hard trying to get something going, but you're just not seeing the fruits of abundance, you are almost there. So don't give up is what this is saying here because you have the fruits of abundance showing up. So I feel like you're on the precipice here, Scorpio, of something really big. There's a shift going on and it actually may be the shift uh, at the end of March into April. It may be right on that cusp or right on that border, but don't give up, stay persistent, stay strong, stay disciplined uh, and finish what it is that you've started here because you're gonna start to see the fruits and the money coming in. I like this for you. Yes, you've been through a lot. Whatever this tower moment was for you, Scorpio, uh, it certainly certainly set things rolling in a different kind of way for you, but there will be celebration. Beautiful. Three of Cups energy is about uh, news of a job or an abundance of money coming in or a raise. There's something here with more money and this is clarifying what the tree and what the hand uh, are telling you here. You are manifesting more money, reaching goals, and uh, 
hitting some sort of milestone is what they're saying. So I love this showing up for you. Okay, they're giving me a name here. Christofferson. Christofferson. That could be a last name. Maybe it's a first name. Maybe it's a road, a place, a company. Take it as it resonates, please, Scorpio. But Christofferson. Okay. Let's take a look and see what it is that you're telling yourself. How are you feeling? Queen of Cups. Okay, you're feeling quite, um, there's a lot of emotions showing up here. So you're really trying to step into your power, feel your intuition. Uh, this is somebody who's very kind, very understanding, giving and psychic. Some of you out there, Virgo, are, uh, or excuse me, Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. I hope I haven't been calling you Virgo. Um, Scorpio, some of you are quite empathic. What that means is you tune into the energy of others. And you may be in an environment or you were in an energy where it just got to be too much on you. Now, it doesn't mean that you did get fired or there was a let go, but you could have let the mental stress really get to you. Maybe you even manifested an illness because of a situation. Because again, the Queen of Cups energy is somebody who is highly sensitive, highly intuitive, highly empathic. But it does say, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So you are getting downloads at this time. You are moving towards this 10 of cups energy is where you want to be. So I feel like there are things coming in that are going to be quite fulfilling to not just you, but your family and your loved ones as well. Stay strong, stay determined, uh, because I feel like you will get there here. Let's take a look and clarify the queen of cups. That one shot out right away. Six of Swords, moving on to bigger and better. I personally love the Six of Swords because it talks about moving on, leaving the past in the past, and just getting out of Dodge. And that may be what showed up here in the past for you is you needed to kind of just move on from a situation that really started to bring a lot of chaos and imbalance into your life. Six of Swords is a spiritual transition or even a physical transition or journey to something better. And that's what I see showing up for you. Some of you, this can be travel. You may be relocating or you may be taking a job elsewhere at this time. But this is the card of movement with the Six of Swords. You're coming out stronger from a situation. So some of you may be asking, why did I go through the tower or how could I have avoided or maybe this wasn't fair. You felt like it wasn't right, but really it taught your soul how to uh, emotionally evolve. It also taught more about compassion and forgiveness. Maybe other people, uh, you know, really grinded your gears. They're showing me gears grinding here. People may not have appreciated your worth, but you're, you're coming into situations now where you're attracting the abundance and uh, the right kind of people. That'll really help with your abundance and growth. So I like this showing up for you, Scorpio. Let's take a look and see what is going on in your environment. What is going on in your surroundings? Okay, they're showing me uh, somebody packing a box uh, with their office items. So if maybe you had to pack a box and you had to put, they're showing me a picture frame. So you may have had a picture on a desk and you're putting it in a box. So what that tells me is you're leaving or you left a job or you're le uh, maybe symbolically, it's about you leaving uh, a place that you've been at here and moving forward. All right, where are you at? High Priestess showing up again. This says powerful psychic insights. A lot of you are gonna have some really great channel divine messages and energy coming through a lot of aha moments that'll kind of get that ball rolling to move in the forward direction. It says reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace, the high priestess. And this is that energy you got earlier regarding paying attention and trusting that the universe has your back. This is about signs, synchronicities, numbers, symbols, dreams. Some of you are really going to, uh, you're going to have a prophetic dream, Spirit is saying here. So if you start dreaming or if you have a dream, Scorpio, of uh, a new offer or even uh, a new workplace or new people, also shaking hands, anything of that nature, it's a prophetic dream. And it may be right before something happens for you. So do pay attention because this is really wonderful showing up. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and clarify for you, Scorpio. High Priestess. The High Priestess can also be... 
somebody coming into your energy, such as maybe you've been watching a lot of tarot. Maybe you're going to um, a psychic or a medium for clarification regarding your career. This can be somebody of higher spiritual uh, knowledge that is helping and assisting you on your journey at this time. Wow. And then you have the, the Hierophant. This is that energy that I just said here, divine guidance, spiritual teacher. It's about uh, committing and learning uh, your soul's journey and your soul's path here. So really beautiful combined. There's education here as well. Some of you have a small, tiny whisper of learning something new, education, going back to school. Uh, this could be spiritual studies as well as traditional educational studies. It could just be a course or a class, or again, like I said earlier, learning how to do something that you don't have all of the experience or knowledge on how to do. You may need to seek out other helpful advisors or representatives at this time or coaches or mediums. Let's take a look and see what your hopes and fears are. What are your hopes, Scorpio, and what are your fears? Okay, we have the 10 of wands. Yeah, your hopes here, very powerful, uh, Scorpio. Your hope here is that you can free yourself up, release some of the heavy burdens that you've been carrying to allow new opportunities and new energy to come knocking. It says, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. And that's what you're doing here. That's what I see with the high priestess and the hierophant. It says, working too many hours or trying too hard to please others. The Ten of Wands can be carrying a lot of mental, physical, emotional, spiritual stress uh, on your shoulders. Some of you may be feeling really heavy in the shoulder area uh, or even mid-back to lower back as well. Uh, any area of the back may feel a lot of tension when you are carrying the weight of the world. So this is luckily a hope, but it's also a fear of yours. Your hope is to, again, release the heavy burdens and the the uh, fear is that you're going to continue working for nothing, but that's not going to happen here because you have a lot of growth coming in. But let's clarify the Ten of Wands for you, Scorpio. Some of you have been really working, putting in a lot of effort uh, or the overthinking. For some of you who have been looking for a job, you've been putting in a lot of mental effort is what I'm getting here. But uh, with teamwork, and with a solid, firm footing or solid, firm foundation, the Three of Pentacles says that there's dedicated collaboration and also uh, could be financial assistance or some sort of external help coming in to lift you up, to get you going. That's the, where this helping hand comes in from. You're going to get a, a helping hand, either getting a job or some sort of new opportunity coming in for you. And that's what this... Uh, page of cups is all about it could be a family member as well somebody that you love maybe helping you out or giving you a hand up uh, because you are manifesting new money in the near future as well all right let's take a look scorpio and uh, see what's showing up for your final outcome what is the final outcome here for scorpio career march 2022 Oh my goodness, you're getting the same energy, divine guidance. This is wonderful. This is the card of the Hierophant. That's that one you just got here uh, with the High Priestess. So you're really being spiritually and divinely guided at this time. I feel like you're going to receive uh, a blessing from the universe. It does say the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. We just talked about that here, surrounding yourself with uh, with elders or with other people who are wise or who have experience doing what it is that you want to do. I feel like you're going to do a lot of soul searching this month, but you are being led to a higher level of commitment, not only within yourself, but your beliefs and your commitments regarding money. I feel like you're going to receive this, uh, reach some sort of a goal, but again, it may start to take shape in uh, it may manifest in March, but take shape in April. But you are being divinely guided at this time. And spirit is coming in to help. Uh, they're telling me that somebody has been doing a lot of praying. Somebody has been reaching out. And that hopefully is more than one of you. But I feel like somebody has really been asking spirit for guidance. Uh, trusting your intuition and trying to really tune in and say, okay, where do I go from here? After some sort of catastrophic moment, you're finally uh, freeing yourself up. And what do we have here? 
We have the Four of Wands, Celebration, Success, 11-11 energy here. Four of Wands is the card of stability in your home and in all relationships because they're showing me that there could have been a falling out between you and another person, whether it was a personal family member or whether it was somebody at the office or a client, you may have to cut off some sort of energy or an energy was cut off from you, Scorpio. Uh, there you are showing up again. You were hurt. You were wounded in this situation here. But there is celebration because this the five, Four of Wands does talk about you reaching that milestone. Right behind it, we do have the Two of Cups. So you're going to form new partnerships, new alliances, new friendships that have the potential to really grow long term and help you uh, bring in more success, abundance, and money. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Your heart was closed off or you may have shut down. Uh, somebody shut down your idea, I feel, in the past. You may have wanted to start something brand new, but you kept getting rejected here in the past. And then a tower came crashing down. But with through all of this energy, you have been divinely guided. And the Four of Wands is the one that is the most prominent here about uh, needing to take a little bit of a time out, maybe even taking a little bit of vacation if you can, but you're hitting a milestone and there is celebration here. Something that you've been wanting for quite a while, uh, but you're healing as well at this time. So I like this for you, Scorpio. I do like this. You're going through a lot of change and shifts, uh, but you're sealing the deal again on a situation that's been uh, been challenging for you, but I feel like there is a financial growth coming in here for, for you. Uh, there's more stability. And uh, for some of you, there could have been a situation within a family business. Maybe you had always, maybe you went to school to do something uh, that maybe your father did, or maybe your mother did, or your sister, or your best friend. But now you may be going off on a brand new venture and you're manifesting money to do so. Let's take a look and see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you, Scorpio. What do we have here for Scorpio in the month of March? Okay, they, they just showed me a cat's tail, a cat's tail. So I don't know if uh, maybe you just seen a cat's tail. Maybe there's a, a cat's tail that could be close to you at this time. Uh, or that could be even symbolic for independence because cats are very independent. You may be feeling in a, a little bit of an independent uh, energy at this time, but I feel like you're definitely moving towards uh, the goals, reaching the goals, uh, and you're going to feel like you can stand on your own two feet again is what I'm hearing. We have a message in a bottle showing up for you. There's that message, the uh, page of cups showing up. You're going to receive some sort of news that's going to be really uplifting and very helpful to your career and your journey. It's also card 15, <clears throat> uh, which is the card of the, the devil, but I feel like you're freeing yourself up from any of this toxicity left over from whatever that tower was for you. So what this is talking about here, this is card 15, message in a bottle. <clears throat> I'm just going to read to you the prosperity message. This is about communication. It's about a, a sign, a, a cladon, which is about a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. It talks about pointing the way to your highest good. And you can see here that uh, this message in a bottle is being divinely guided right here with this bird, uh, that being divinely guided to find the, the receiver. And it is being... Uh, I feel like spirit has a plan for you, has a plan of something bigger and better than you thought even possible for yourself. The prosperity message is this. You are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with destiny and spirit wants you to know that you are on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or business contract that will lead you closer to your dreams and your greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. All right. So uh, what they're telling me is, have you been listening to spirit? So spirit has been heeding your calls and has been uh, listening to your prayers. And we see that over here showing up for you. So make sure that you are uh, listening in return as well. Beautiful energy here, Scorpio. Let's take a look and get a message from your soul, your soul's truth. And if you have been taking notes, Scorpio, I do suggest you jot this one down. And ask yourself this throughout the month of March, even into the, the rest of the year here, because it'll really help your soul get moving in that right direction. 
Uh, you are in the right direction. You're moving forward finally after a time of chaos. Uh, but this is really helpful for your soul to continue advancing. It says, am I in my head or in my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle. If we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Today's Soul Action Scorpio is mastering your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. So this is the energy of empowerment. It's about paying attention to the way that you are talking to yourself. And do you believe that you are worthy of money? Uh, take a look at your money story, uh, Scorpio, and see if you do have some sort of scarcity mindset or a fear of not having enough and switch that energy around. Try to do what you can to uh, have positive affirmations, positive self-talk, because again, you are reaching goals. There is financial uh, assistance or manifesting new opportunities and money coming in. You have double messages showing up here for you. All right, we're going to get a few messages from the animal spirit guides. And uh, Scorpio, if you have a moment, I just ask that you close your eyes, tune into that third eye chakra. That is the area between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in from your belly, from your solar plexus area. And I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Maybe it is an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps it is an animal that is mystical, magical, wild or domesticated. Perhaps it is an animal that you have currently at your home or maybe you had as a small child. There is no right or wrong answer. And if you need a moment, Scorpio, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is post whatever animal that you just saw in your third eye chakra in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway where I pull one lucky winner on the around the first of each month. So do make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already so you are notified. All right, messages from your power animals. We have ant spirit, time to collaborate. This is about working together and you have that showing up here in your energy. You have that three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. Collaboration, fitting the puzzle pieces together after a time of chaos or the puzzle pieces feeling like you're never going to get to where you want to go. This is about outside help as well as external help, helping uh, you put those pieces together because I feel like you can't do this alone at this time. Uh, even if this is spiritual help for you, it's about a brand new beginning because this is the one card, which is about um, manifesting your dreams, manifesting your reality. <clears throat> we have skunk spirit. Know your worth, Scorpio, because you have a lot of uh, beautiful confidence and beautiful traits that, yeah, others may not have seen the light that's within you here, but it doesn't mean that you are lacking or any less, okay? Just because other people may not have seen it, that was more of a projection of their own selves versus uh, what it is that you have inside. And Spirit is saying here that you have a lot of beautiful talents and uh, resources that are available at your fingertips. So know your self-worth here because self-worth equals net worth and vice versa. We have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. I love this because you have a lot of cups in your energy here. And the cups energy is about feelings. It's about desire. It's about your heart and joy. It's also about relationships in your life. Uh, severing ties may have happened in the past, but it's about new connections as well. They're telling me that some of you may be networking or going to an event uh, where you will meet other people that, have, um, that can maybe help you or lend a helping hand. <clears throat> And lastly, we have Coyote Spirit. 
Absolutely. It says trust in divine detours. And that's exactly what this tower moment was in the past. It was a detour to straighten out. Uh, you know, you needed to go through this to learn an alternative approach because I feel like you were uh, you were ready for some sort of turn or some sort of brand new direction here. But trust that it's it worked out here the way it's supposed to, to help your soul evolve and grow. So really beautiful energy. Trust in divine detours, but also trust in the universe has a message coming to you uh, that's going to really bring a lot of happiness. Divine guidance. You are being led to a brand new opportunity here, uh, showing up for your money. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, last but not least, we're going to get a message from the Crystal Spirit Oracle. And for those of you that are interested in any of the decks you see above here or any that I do use during your reading, you can find all of that information in the description box below. All right, let's get one final message here from the Crystal Spirits and see what we have for Scorpio. Okay. That's quite a lot. Let's see what we have showing up here. Thank you, Spirit. We have Lithium Quartz. This is also card 3-3, three, three, which is uh, double threes is that lover's card, card six, Gemini energy. It's about making a choice to follow your heart. And that's kind of been a little bit of a theme for you, Scorpio, following your heart and uh, following your... Uh, again, that card was meeting between the heart and the mind is where miracles happen. So we have lithium quartz card 33, but you will have a decision to make. Uh, I feel like there's a, a message coming towards you where you will decide to move forward. Whatever that looks like to you here, Scorpio. All right. This is about harmonious, peacefulness, joyful, interconnectedness. So a lot of networking, a lot of connection, a lot of helping hands coming your way in the month of March. And the prosperity message is this. Harmoniousness means agreement on a common foundation. And when lithium quartz spirit arrives, it is asking you to see how much you benefit from complementary partners as you build your wealth and co-create a sense of security in this world. We are all interconnected and all can bring joy, love, and healing and trust to spaces we share. When we do, our natural prosperity is amplified as evidenced by the changes happening in our outer conditions. Today, do your best part to let go of old fears of not having enough. Instead, bring peace to the table so that all may enjoy prosperity. Yes, this also talks about becoming uh, calm and especially when you are overthinking. Scorpio, if you've been overthinking or been really in your head about a situation, uh, this is talking about grounding your energy and uh, also taking a look at the, qualify, uh, the qualities that you bring to the table as well. Believing, like we talked about earlier, believing in your natural talents. So really beautiful energy here. Uh, this card or this energy is also about connecting to uh, your higher self. You can see here, lithium quartz, and you can use uh, any quartz is what spirit is telling me. Maybe you have rose quartz. Uh, if you have clear quartz, smoky quartz, you can use any of those energies, any of those crystals to help you on your career journey in the month of March. Really beautiful. All right, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. You have some beautiful messages coming in about financial growth. You are manifesting money here showing up. Yes, you have been through some major changes regarding money, but you're being divinely guided. You're going to be releasing the heavy burdens that you've been carrying here, and uh, you're putting your heart, soul, and emotion into bettering your life and those around you. So that's what I have for your March 2022 career reading. I certainly hope it resonates. If so, do feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Also, do put your com excuse me, comment your power animal in the comment box to be entered into that free monthly reading giveaway. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, Scorpio, and I am sending all of you wonderful souls a lot of love and light. Till next time.